What's up, everyone? I'm Rachel Dorada. And I'm Juan Pablo Gordon Camargo. And this is Inside the Hashes Throwback Thursday, where we take a look back at players we've spoken to in the past and catch you up on where they are now. On today's episode, we're throwing it back with Los Angeles Rams linebacker, Troy Reader. Reader began his college career at Penn State, where in 2015 as a freshman, he started in 11 games, racking up 67 tackles, 5.5 tackles for loss, and an interception. He was named to the 2015 Big Ten Conference All-Freshman team at the end of the season. After that strong start with the Nittany Lions, Reader shockingly transferred out of Penn State to the University of Delaware, fulfilling a lifelong dream of playing on the same college team as his younger brother, Cole. Beyond family ties, Reader transferred to Delaware in hopes of elevating the football program to new heights. During his time with the Blue Hens, Reader put up incredible numbers, collecting 283 total tackles, 133 of them solo tackles, and four interceptions. In three years with the Blue Hens, Reader was named once to a second team All CAA in 2016 and twice to a first team All CAA in the following two seasons. In 2018, Reader helped the Blue Hens earn an at large playoff bid at the FCS playoffs, marking their first appearance since 2010. Inside the Hashes had the chance to interview Reader going into his final season at Delaware in 2018 where he defined who he was as a player and shared his ultimate goals for the future. What do you consider to be your biggest strengths on the field? What do you think separates you as a football player? I think the one thing that's not necessarily immeasurable, but my preparation, I feel like throughout my career, I've, I've been able to do it independently. The level of preparation that I've been able to put into the game that has really made me, the, I think, the player and style that I have. Being able to be that extra coach on the field is, is something I feel like not only only makes me a better player but the players around me let's fast forward until after the season your team was very successful conference championship maybe made the playoff you had a successful year what's next for troy reader what's the dream you know, I, I, I mean it's it's really every kid's dream but all, all growing up i wanted to be an nfl football player and just looking at things now and you know how, how far i've I've gone and grown, and I want to play the game. I love the game of football, and I want to play it as long as I can. You know, if there was four more years of college football, I, I would probably do that. But, mm-hmm. you know, being able to go out there and play uh, in the National Football League, something I've always dreamed of and have been working for really since I started football in third grade. And we'll, we'll see where it goes. But all I can do right now is work hard and play each game and just really focused on getting some W's with my team. Going undrafted in 2019 didn't deter Reader from pursuing his dream as a pro player. He signed on with the LA Rams in the 2019 offseason, surviving the final round of cuts to make the 53-man roster. After starting inside linebacker, Brian Hager went down with a shoulder injury in week 10 against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Reader stepped into the starting role and never let go. Appearing in all 16 games, Reader had a strong rookie season, accumulating 52 total tackles and forcing two fumbles. In a close Week 5 loss to the Seattle Seahawks, Reader was on the field for nearly 75% of defensive snaps, recording a career-high 13 tackles. A few weeks into the 2020 season, Reader has had a quiet start. In the Rams' first three games, he's racked up only two total tackles. Reader should see an uptick in production in Sunday's game against the 1-3 Washington football team. This has been Inside the Hashes, Throwback Thursday. I'm Juan Pablo Guarín Camargo. And I'm Rachel Dorada. We'll see you next time.